Hello, hello. Um, you probably saw the title and you're like, wow, that's random. Yes. I don't really know what to say other than I feel like Kylie came to me and was like, hey, can I do the interview now? And I was like, all right. <laughs> um, so here we are. Uh, Cause I was not even thinking about this case and I was like, oh, well I gotta like review. And she was like, no, you're fine. I'm like, all right. So, um, here we go. This is an energy reading. It is all alleged, my opinion, not facts. Um, going to be doing a little interview with Kylie. See what happened. Um, hey, Kylie. Oh, hey, partner. <laughs> Was that the message? Okay. Going right into it. Got ya. Um, people watched as other people abused you because the people who were supposed to care about you didn't. Mm. She's saying, I felt like a test subject. I felt like a test subject. I feel like a damn test subject. Oh my god. So this happened more than just that one night. Mm -hmm. Clean up in reverse. A mess. Oh! Every time she would go out around certain people she started to catch on to like feeling funny and stuff and like it just didn't make sense there were certain things that started to not make sense like why was she so much more messed up than everybody else mm -hmm. it's when i started to catch on to it that i became the problem i was suddenly the villain in the story just for simply catching on to the wrong that was being done to me. Mm -hmm. She's showing me a hammock, uh, but it's not tied between trees, it's tied between cars. Like there's like a car here and a car here and then there's a hammock tied on the like, I guess like roof rack of each. What's that about? Oh, justice, hammock, two cars, justice. You're gonna show us how your car ending up in the water connects to what's going on behind the scenes. Mm hmm gotcha. Um, you wanna start with literally talking about why your car ended up in the water. Yes secret trip in reverse. I want to expose how it went in the water. Um, you had caught on to something and you were going to at this particular party. Oh, I just got really dizzy when I looked up like caught you. Oh, fake it. You were going to fake it. You were going to fake it at the party. Oh, that's really uncomfortable. Can you stop doing that? Um, <laughs> you were gonna fake it at the party. I can't look up. You were gonna fake it at the party to, cause you, you wanted to try and see how other people were doing it. Mm-hmm, yeah, got ya. 
um, underwater in reverse. So you didn't want to be under the influence. You wanted to watch how your friends were betraying you so you could figure out what to do about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, because you knew they were protected because it was something big. Mm. Debt in reverse. That's money. Yes. Uh, so you knew that jail wasn't something that you could do because there was no one safe to tell. Um, did I say all oh, this is alleged? My opinion, not fact. My opinion. Her mother. Yeah. This is the male peacock because it's colorful. In reverse, it's the female peacock. Oh. I said some people watched as the abuse happened. She backed away and let it happen. Uh, because as I just said, it was big and she didn't know. I said that Kylie said there was no one safe for her to go to. She knew how big it was. She couldn't even go to her own mother and she couldn't go to anyone else either. Oh, got you, tunnel. <clears throat> there, there has to be something else about the dizzy thing. They noticed her not drinking and found another way to get it to her. How? Someone had something on their hand and put it on her face, like grabbed her face or something and did that, but they had something on and she breathed it in because she wasn't, she wasn't drinking. And that's why everyone was like, oh, we're drinking from the same cup. We're drinking from the same cup. We're drinking from the same cup. She wasn't, she wasn't. Somebody, or maybe she was, but not enough or quick enough or something. I don't know. Maybe she took sips. Maybe, maybe that, oh, she wasn't actually drinking it and they caught on to it and did the face thing. It would be like if somebody had something on their finger and like grabbed your face and was like, ah, like joking around, but then like you breathe it in, not realizing, and then you start to like doop, and then they walked her over to the car. Is that what happened? Yes. I definitely can't use that word, Kylie. She's saying, Fake effing friends, fake effing friends, fake effing friends, fake effing friends. Yep. Partner. Oh. It's like somebody, it, it was like a group effort. It's like somebody does something to her, like grabs her waist as somebody puts the hand up to her face and it makes her breathe in. And it was like immediate, like, uh-oh, too much. They wanted to make sure there was enough and they wanted to make sure she also breathed in when they grabbed her. And they grab her, she breathes in and the too much happened. That was why everything. Oh, she's going to show us why the car went into the water. That's why the car went into the water because she OD'd because they gave her too much because it was, we have to get her to breathe in enough. We don't want to do it where it's not enough. And she's da -da -da, but not da -da -da enough. And then she leaves. Um, she has to be enough. We have to make sure there's enough on our hand. But so she breathes it in and we have to make sure she breathes in, but it backfired because she breathed in too much. Mm. Oh, Kylie. Oh, 
That's how they wanted to ruin her reputation, was get her unknowingly pregnant and have no idea who the father was because she didn't remember sleeping with him. Kylie, I am so sorry. She's showing me like shadow figures in trees in like a circle. Got you. Um, are they burying something? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we've come to the end of the road. Is there something buried at the end of the road? Why would they risk? She's saying they couldn't take it out. They couldn't take it out. They couldn't take what out? Something they took. They couldn't take your light out. Oh, cause this message. Oh, ain't no mountain high enough. Oh, I was confused what you were trying to say there. Um, I did a, um, a mediumship interview for Nicola Uli, and in that interview, Nicola basically said, I had to choose justice or karma, and I chose karma. Um, mm -hmm. uh, mm. Kylie hit the karma button so quick that it probably almost shattered. That's why she didn't get justice, because she chose karma. Snakes in the grass. Oh, snakes in the grass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She said they went to somewhere all together afterwards and just had a party. And they'll regret that because she is going to watch Karma have a party. Oh. Next topic. Here is some real information, allegedly my opinion, no facts. It was not a distraction. This was actually something real that accidentally went wrong and blew up in a way that they didn't want it to. Oh yeah, because mm -hmm. they were jealous of her light. That's why they wanted to study her. They wanted to... Her fake friends wanted to emulate her energy and if they set her up, it was like they made some kind of deal with the devil where if they kind of set her up in this way, they would get a chance to be the light that she has. But it didn't work because it's not theirs and you can't steal it. Oh, now we've come to the end of the road. That was the message. That's what, that's what you wanted to say. Mm -hmm. um, I think she wants me to stop there now. Um, oh. Um, you want to talk about the um, tow truck driver. Democrat. It was all just part of the plan to make the situation look a certain way. It was to make, ruin the reputation and make you look crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, sorry, my foot is like going numb. My foot is going numb. My foot is going numb. My foot is going numb. 
you quickly they realized that it you, they gave you too much because you said something about um something going numb your hands your hands going numb mm. betrayal and in the woods that was like the sign like if if she says anything starts to go numb you need to get her out of the crowd because the plan was to leave her in the crowd and make her make a fool of herself but the key was if she said anything like my my hands are numb or i don't feel good something they had to get her out because that means that it didn't work and she got too much because too much was available and she was being squeezed or tickled or something and if something started to go numb they needed to get her out of the crowd because there were some people there that didn't know what was going on and allegedly my opinion and they had to get her out of the crowd before she collapsed mm -hmm. water supply cutting off the supply of the flow she just keeps saying over and over i was a test subject like how could you i'm a human being you made me into a test subject how pathetic are you next card too mm -hmm. inside out she sees your true colors now she's even the people who had a part in this that like think they're on the outside of it she still got a choice of karma or justice and how much justice did she get hundred mm percent -mm. went to karma mm. secret space program she's gonna allow karma because what you did to her was mess with her head. But again, it boomerangs back with all the energy it collected. So plus how much you hurt her soul and her heart, it boomerangs back and it smacks you like a wave. That's what she's saying. It smacks you like a wave. <laughs> because if not, you'll just keep doing it, won't you? Because you have money to build a wall and that's protecting the evil that you are, is what she's saying. And I was in the way because I figured it out. And you saw me testing it and that insulted your intelligence because you had to be smarter than me for this to work. Honey. She's saying they planted people in her life to push her towards certain directions or put certain things in her head or make her feel a certain way about herself, make her feel less than. Operation Mockingbird in reverse. They tried to control the narrative in her own mind so that she could never get her footing enough to really shine because they were jealous of that light. She said, I said what I said, new world order. They were jealous, they wanted it, but you can't take it from somebody else. Um, she's saying, I forgot about the tree thing, the circle of people in the trees. Okay, well, what, what, what about it? Oh, they wanted to get you pregnant by somebody and you have no idea who um, and have no explanation for it and then have everybody turn on you and be like, oh, you acted a fool at the party. You don't know who you slept with, blah, 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 to get to push you to the edge. Mm -hmm. That's why the thing about all the creepy guys and blah, 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 because why were all those creepy guys there probably to take their turn so that she for sure got pregnant is that correct allegedly my opinion yeah i need a minute hold on all right <clears throat> What now? Your ex.
ex-boyfriend, the one, uh, dog's tail wagging, Jagger, oh my god. That must be the name, huh? Jagger. Okay. <laughs> I saw a dog's tail wagging plus a J, and I was like, uh, okay. Um, he, oh, he, he was, he was, he was one of the plants, the, uh, spies or whatever. Mm-hmm. There was no real passion. It was all just fake. Fake NBS. Fake NBS. Fake NBS is what she's saying. Oh, mm hmm. To manipulate her. Oh, to turn her into a party girl. They wanted to turn her into a party girl, get her knocked up, have no idea who the dad is, um, ruin her reputation, have all of her friends leave, or just basically dim her light. That's what it was. Yep. Um. Uh, she says, congratulations. Do you feel like your plan worked? Because I'm going to lead you to see this. You didn't steal my light. Look at it shine. Mic drop. <laughs> oh, she says, I know you hated that. That was your least favorite part. She's saying, has the energy of, has the energy of prejudice. What if you were categorized into a group and given attributes that were false without truly knowing who you are? She said, I said what I said. The one behind it too, she's saying. Oh, the one behind it is her friends. Demanding. When displayed, you are most likely making the other person feel inferior. That's what I said. Check your anxiety and depression. Probably because your friends are putting it on you, huh? That's what that is. Uh, the next one is her mom. Allegedly, my opinion, no facts. Mm. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. Carl Jung. And the last one is the people who are behind doing this to her. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Resentful. Think loving thoughts for the person or yourself that you resent. It's restricting your emotional happiness. Um, mm. Quote, was that direct enough? Meeting over. Collapse in reverse. Trafficking. Weird science in reverse. Missing piece in reverse. Female. 
Mm. Her soul lesson from this. It was the same one that came out for Nicola. The one that I referenced in this reading. The law of action. Get out of your comfort zone and take bold action today. The same thing was pretty much happening with both of them, allegedly my opinion. But you can see, I'm coming back from this side and using what I learned to not give you back what you gave to me, but to teach you a lesson of what you did to me. Except add it in the tax of all the energy. It, it's like this, okay? Ball of energy. This is something you send to someone, a thought, a word, an action. And it goes, and as it goes towards them, from you to them, it collects energy. When it reaches that person, it has an option. It can turn to darkness, or it is darkness, right? You send dark energy to someone. It goes to that person. It has the option to stay with that person and then the opposite reflects back, which is the light, which comes back to you and you get the reward. Or the person can transmute this to light because they have to accept it because you sent it. You paid for it, you sent it. It's like sending, it's like going on Grubhub and sending food to someone else's house. They might not want it, but it's going to arrive and be dropped off because you can just put, just drop it and walk away. You don't need the person to approve it. That's what this is. So you send dark energy to someone, they have the option to either let it stay darkness and reflect back to you as the light, and because that's the trickery that they want you to do, or if that person transmutes this into light, this comes back as darkness. But the person didn't return it to sender. It's just how it works. It's that person's choice. Do I accept this darkness or am I going to do the hard work of transmuting it into light? Which is basically going back in and recoding every pixel of it into light. So you have to learn how to do that. So she chose to transmit it into light because that's what she is at her core and you can't change that. So she transmuted this into light and then started to piece together what was really going on as a reward of the work of transmuting it to light. So she didn't return this to sender. This isn't karma that she sent you. This is karma you sent yourself because you tried to play her like a fool and she's not. So now this karma goes collecting all the energy on the way there, adding in all of the hard work that she did to transmute it to light. So now it grows and then it comes back to where it started from. And to that, she says, best of luck. Because you tried to dim the very light that just told you exactly what to expect back. The way that you brought her to her demise that boomerang I just talked about, she's saying, I hope you have a really good catching hand. Because everyone betrayed her every chance they got. And you want it to diminish her enough to where she would choose to just allow the darkness to take over her. And then when getting to the other side and having the choice of justice or karma, you thought she would choose justice because you thought that she thought it was all about her and she was the center of attention. But really you were just blinded by her light that there was nothing she could do about it, just who she was. She wasn't showing off, she was just showing up as herself. And that intimidated you too much to work on yourself. And she's saying, I chose karma. She's saying, you handed me the scissors and I happily cut the line once I saw things clearly. That's all. Have a good day.